Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and today I'm so excited to do this video. I haven't been excited about an eyeshadow palette in a very long time and finally today, look what came in, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. Yay! So I've been tracking this, I ordered this like three days back and Anastasia is like really good with shipping. I was able to order it on the day, on the 26th. I think they launched this on the 26th. So I will be inserting um, swatches at the end of the video as usual. We'll be talking a little bit about the palette and then we're gonna move on into the makeup tutorial. This is the look that I created with this palette. So yeah, okay. So it comes in this packaging, cardboard packaging, just like the previous Anastasia one. Sorry, I've got some staining going on on my palette Ooh. okay so we're gonna open this up Ooh. it's exactly the same as the previous Anastasia modern renaissance palette it's got this velvety um, cover just like the previous one and it comes with a brush now have a look at this palette in close. Now this palette has more of matte shades and the colors in here are pretty unique, it's pretty different, it's not like any other palette, it's got a lot of um, matte, it's got like um, a foil and a dual chrome shade over here. So I'm going to be swatching all of these for you. Now this is a uh, the quality of this is just like the previous palette, the Anastasia Modern Renaissance one. Um, it's very blendable, it's very pigmented, it's just freaking amazing. So for $42, this is just awesome. So I ordered mine online and I, I'm not sure when this is going to be available in Sephora in Abu Dhabi. Um, it's still available to order so you could order this from Anastasia however they do have a delivery fee I can't remember how much that is um, or you could just wait until it launches over here so yeah so I have nothing bad to say except for to the Anastasia modern renaissance one it does kick up a lot of powder but the pigmentation is really good so it doesn't really bother me so other than that i have nothing bad to say it's just really unique i mean if you look at it um if you like um more of greens and teals and mustard and um it also has a little bit of brown and copper shades in there so I know it is a bit different from other palettes, but it's pretty unique. Hold up both the palettes for you so you guys can have a better look. So if you guys can see that, you see? This, is, this has a lot more of warm shades, red tone shades, and this is a lot more cooler in nature. And it has a lot of matte shades in here. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's move on to the tutorial. So I've already primed my eyes with Max Paint Pot and I'm going to set that with Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie. And now I'm going to go in with this sh uh, peachy shade Roxy and I'm going to use that for our transition shade. I'm going to blend that in right above my crease. And then I'm going to go in with the shade All Star and I'm going to deepen that crease up to give that deep, intense, burgundy look. And then I'm going to blend that out with a fluffy brush. I'm going to go in with MAC 221 and deepen that crease up with the All Star just so that the burgundy looks a little bit more rich. And then I'm going to blend all of that in. I'm going to take a flat synthetic brush and cut that crease with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Now you need to take your time while you cut that crease. Next I'm going to take my MAC 242. It's a flat synthetic brush and place that shade um, edge right onto my crease where we just applied the concealer. 
I'm just going to deepen that up. Now, you need to layer this a few more times just so that it looks even and bright. I'm going to go in with the same brush and take that shade axis and wing out my eyeshadow. Now you need to be careful and slowly do this particular step because you don't want teal and all that work that you just did to mix all up. So take your time and go slow. Next I'm going to take this Morphe 515. It's a small detail brush and um, neaten up that wing. Then I'm going to take the shade Electric and place this amazing foil shadow right on top of the yellow base that we just did. And I'm going to place that into my outer corners as well. I'm going to take this uh, Sigma brush and highlight my brow bone with the uh, this particular shade from Anastasia. And I'm going to blend everything in just so that the whole application looks seamless. So my battery died and hence the change in outfit. So now I'm going to do my under eye. I'm going to, going to go in with this uh, MAC 212 brush and place that all star burgundy brownie shade right. Uh, into under my eye and then I'm going to use the Maybelline's uh, Colossal Coal and uh, line my waterline and now I'm going to smudge all of that together next I'm going to take the dual chromey shade cube and uh, highlight my inner corners with that And boom! So now I'm just going to go and highlight uh, with the new Huda Beauty Summer Solstice Highlighter. And I'm going to place that uh, cream highlighter with my fingertips because it works well that way. Next, I'm going to set my face with the Mario Badescu setting spray. And so this is the finished look. So if you did enjoy watching this video, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.